The only thing that's scary about writing expressions in Maya is the expression editor itself, which is not a great window. I'm going to start by selecting my swatch control, selecting its translate Y attribute, and then the edit menu at the top of the channel box will allow me to write an expression. There are some good things about the expression editor and some really terrible things. The first thing that's good is it does show me my selected object and my selected attribute, and then it tells me how to write them. So I'm looking at squash control dot translate Y and all of your objects are going to follow the same basic format. So it's going to be object name and then a dot and then the attribute you're going to control. So the thing that I actually want to influence is squash one dot factor. So I can kind of just like write that in there, squash one dot factor. And the thing that I want to set it equal to is this squash control dot translate y. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in there. Uh, by the way, to zoom in so you can actually see what you're writing, that is control scroll wheel. So I'm setting squash one dot factor equal to squash control dot translate y. I am going to end this in a semicolon. And I'm going to give this an expression name. And the expression name is really important because the trick is right now I've got an object selected. The second I click away from this object, everything in the expression editor is going to go away. So instead, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one squash exp. And now just to be sure that squash exp is good, I'm going to hit the create button. And the create button, amongst other things, will tell me if I've made some kind of grammatical error in my expression, which is always good to know. So let's go ahead and say create. OK, I got a result, squash exp, and now here, watch. I'm going to test this out. I'm going to click off. My expression vanishes. So annoying. But if I click on my letter, letter S here, you can see that I do indeed squash and stretch when I move up and down. For me, it's moving a little too quickly. So I'd like to go back in and edit my expression. Uh, the quickest way to do that is to go to the expression editor and in the filters, filter to by expression name. And now, no matter what I have selected, I can get to my squash expression. So I want my squash expression to be a little slower. I'm going to put this in parentheses to help keep it together. And let's try dividing it by 10 and see if that works. So the good news is that the expression itself worked, no grammatical errors. And now as I move this, the squash and stro stretch will go a little bit slower. I think that's good. That might even be a little slow. So to your taste, you can just come back in here and put in a different number and click edit until you get a result that you're happy with. So that's the expression editor, and that is my squash expression. So I will pause the video here and let you see if you can wrap your brain around this. And I'll make another video for the twist expression. We'll do that next.